Hi everyone, it's Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another prize haul from the Cardmaker of the Year competition and this is by Visible Image. Um, so we've got a bunch of stamps here and we do also have some really great stencils as well. So let's take a look at these stamped images. So the first stamps that we have got, this is called Life is Beautiful. So this is made up of a few different stamps, so your sentiment is all separate, so you can kind of arrange it how you want to on your project. We do have this big sort of hummingbird here with the splatters and things, lots of texture in here. And then we just have sort of a texture uh, background stamp as well for that one. Then we've got Creative Chaos. So in this one, we've got again a bunch of uh, sort of texture background kind of stamps. So these uh, circles and texture. Uh, we've got this here, which has got like a um, mathematic formula and it says Chaos Theory. Um, Life 42, again with a texture just there. We have this really beautiful uh, flower here, which has got that kind of splatter detail as well. And then the sentiment, out of chaos comes creativity. So that's really nice. We're going to be using this flower here on our uh, project today. The next one is Phoenix Rising. So again, we've got a few different stamps in here. We've got the main kind of Phoenix stamp here, outlined but with all that kind of texture, almost like fiery kind of texture around it. We've got then two sort of texture backgrounds. We've got Hope, and then we have We Rise by Lifting Others sentiment there as well. The next one we've got is Rise and Shine. So we've got this big sun here with the face on it. We've got sort of the smaller, just plain sun. We've got some circles, again, some texture background stamps. And then the sentiment of the sun doesn't stop shining. Sometimes it's just behind the clouds. So that's a really lovely sentiment there to go with that one. This one is called Bad Day, and this is made up of three stamps. We've got this really big uh, face here um, where they are crying. And then we have two sentiments. We've got, um, it's okay to have a bad day. Then we've got Follow Your Heart. Uh, so we've got this really lovely love heart here filled with lots of, again, texture. We've got the circles, the splatter in there. Uh, this is a really nice stamped image here. So this is a, a heartbeat when you've got that love heart in the middle of it. I think that's really nice. We've got a couple of love hearts here. And this says love you with an exclamation mark. Then we've got forever love. So we've got a big rose here with that same splatter. We've got just um, a medium rose and a small rose just on their own. We've got a skull uh, with some detailing around there. We've got a piece of barbed wire. Um, and then we've got love, immortal and forever. So again, really nice sort of size images in here as well. You've got kind of your main focus image and then you have lots of other images to kind of build up your scene around it. Then we've got this one, so we have got uh, the eye here, again that texture, we've got uh, bubbles, we've got crosses, splatter, we've got numbers in there. We do have uh, two people here, um, and it says stars we are all made of, um, so we've got that little detail then at the end. And then here we've got see everything and open your eyes. So again, you can make some really great projects with these um, and sort of mix and match some of these sentiments, but they all kind of go nicely together. Then we have fairy magic here. So we have got this uh, fairy, again, that sort of texture uh, by in there. We have got um, the numbers in there. We've got the bubbles. We've got two additional wings as well. So, you know, you could also use these if you've got other images where the sizing might work, you know, you could use these. Uh, we've got, again, some just background pieces, some stars, the moon, we've got a fairy. Uh, those who have seen her will never forget the moment her magic touched their soul. So again, really just kind of different, interesting uh, kind of sentiments for you to put onto your cards. And then the last stamp we've got, this is called Tree of Life. So we've got a bunch of stamps in here. So we've got this really lovely tree. We've got two leaves. We have got a uh, hand here. We've got an outline of a person. And this stamp is uh, Touch Life. And then this one here says, storms may break its branches, but new leaves will always grow. So again, some really lovely kind of sentiments in there. So next then on to uh, the stencils. So this one here is called Fibre. So I really like this. This is gonna make a really great uh, background. Just for some detail, this would also be really great for any sort of underwater um, projects as well. I'm gonna be using this on today's card. Then we've got rip, Ripped Fishnet. So again, you've got uh, sort of different sized openings. Obviously you've got the rips and things in the fabric and stuff, but again, a really interesting kind of background. 
Then we've got a Daisy Daisy. So again, I'm going to be using this one on our card. But I think this is really, really beautiful. Um, you know, you could do lots of different kinds of uh, techniques with this. You could just simply ink blend through it. You could heat emboss um, through it as well. Lots of things you can do with it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see how we can um, get this into our card project today. Then we have butterfly ink. So this is, of course, the butterfly. Then you've got all of that um, sort of splatter detail where it's kind of corroding, so almost coming apart. So something really beautiful, um, but you could use it kind of in a grungy way as well. Um, so that is a really lovely stencil. I have had a go at using that one, and it was very, very nice. Then the last stencil we've got, this is Words of Support. So this is a really lovely font as well. Um, so you could just uh, ink blend the whole of this background if you wanted to, or you could literally just do a particular words if that was um, something that you wanted on your project. You know, you wanted to say friendship. Um, you could literally just mask out the rest of it and simply just ink blend uh, through the one word that you want. So that was a look at the stamps and stencils that I got from Visible Image. So now let's go ahead and start today's card. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is create a base layer. I'm gonna do a little bit of ink smushing with my Distress Oxides here. Um, and then we're just gonna kind of build those layers up. So I've got my little messy mat here, which was on my Tim Holtz uh, glass mat. I've got a piece of watercolor cardstock. This is sort of roughly five by seven, because I wanna make a slightly bigger card today. Um, I did pick out four colors of Distress Oxide. Um, these might not go together quite as well as I wanted them to, um, but I did just kind of pick them and we're gonna just see what happens and I can swap them out if I need to. But we've got Broken China, uh, Twisted Citron, Squeezed Lemonade and Wild Honey. So what I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna do this kind of in stages. So um, I've got my mister and I've got my uh, heat gun as well. So we're gonna be doing like a layer and then drying it um, and then kind of putting down a bit more color. So I don't want this to turn into mud. So I'm not gonna kind of put all four colors down at once. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of wild honey uh, and that squeezed uh, lemonade as well. Let's just pop that directly onto the mat. We're going to spritz this up. And I'm just going to spritz my cardstock just off to the side. Just to kind of get that uh, wet and just to help that colour kind of uh, move around it already. So we're just gonna keep kind of pressing that in. So that's, come, that's kind of mixed together and made this really beautiful, kind of really bright yellow. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat set this and then we can bring it back into our ink down here. Okay, so I haven't dried it out completely, um, but I'm happy with how it is. Let's just kind of smush this into that color. So we wanna get um, some of these sort of boundaries, some of these little splatters and things here um, as well. So we wanna get kind of as much uh, detail in there as possible. So I'm actually just gonna clean this color up and I'm just gonna put down some wild honey because um, it's obviously very yellow at the moment, but I wanna have a little bit more of that kind of orange in there. So we're just gonna sort of dunk that in. Okay, so I might bring in a slightly darker shade of orange. I'm not sure yet, but I wanna get the other colors on here uh, first of all, and we can really kind of see what that's gonna look like. But for the other colours, I want to have just a little bit more control about where I'm going to put in it. So rather than ink smushing it onto this messy mat, I'm going to take um, just a piece of plastic. So these are actually the uh, wallets that you can put your cards in afterwards. I'm actually going to add the ink uh, onto here. So I'm going to do this one at a time. So I'm going to do the Twisted Citron first. I'm going to spritz that up. Let's just bring my panel back in. And I'm simply just going to turn this over and kind of smush this in. And again, this is another way that you can uh, do your ink smushing. Uh, but again, it just gives you that little bit more uh, kind of control of where you want that colour to go. So you can see we've got those kind of green tones in there now. Um, again, I'm just going to heat set this with my heat tool um, and then we can start adding more layers.
finished background so we have got a lot of those kind of blues and things in there but you can see those kind of oranges and the yellows and some of those spots of green as well so it's really difficult when you create backgrounds like this to kind of envision sometimes how it's going to end up looking. Um, you kind of have to just, I feel like, go with it and really see just how it turns out. So we're going to carry on with this. We've got sort of some bigger uh, blue areas than what I would have liked. But again, we can just kind of cover those up slightly. So the other products that we're going to be bringing in. So we have got the Fibers stencil. We've got the Daisy Day. Might bring in words of support. I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my spiced marmalade in the Distress uh, Oxide here. So I'm just going to turn this. So I don't want it to be kind of too dark necessarily. And I'm just going to come in kind of in different uh, areas. Okay, so let's just move this up. I'll just add a little bit to the top. Okay, so that could possibly look like utter rubbish, but we are going to carry on with it. Maybe yellow might have been a little better, um, but we're just going to go with it and we're going to finish this off. Okay, so this isn't looking awesome at the moment. Maybe adding that broken china uh, wasn't the right thing to do, but we're just gonna go with it and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna bring in my big daisy stencil, but what I wanna check first of all is where we're gonna pop our bird. So this is actually going to be coming in uh, from this side. So let's just kind of work out uh, how we want to have our card. Okay, so we're going to have our bird kind of coming in from the top, so that's fine. So then I'm going to do my stencil uh, down here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do for this is I'm going to come in with a little bit of texture paste here, um, just for our petals now ideally I don't want to kind of get it outside um, of those petals but we really have to just kind of see what happens here so I'm going to mainly concentrate it at the base and just kind of have it pulled out so again this is picking up all of that um, distress oxide and all of that color underneath as well um, so I can't be putting this back into the tub. So I'm just going to use another spatula just to uh, pick it out for me, just so I don't contaminate what I've got left in there. So we've gone over with our texture paste, so let's take up our stencil. So that's kind of pretty cool. So I am happy uh, with how that has come out. So I wasn't, again, looking for anything kind of too perfect there with that flower. So you can see some of the ends. I didn't go right to the ends with it. Um, that was sort of done on purpose because, again, I wanted it to kind of fit in uh, more with that sort of a grungy side of things. So I'm going to let that dry now uh, before I stamp my bid and I'm going to go and just clean off my stencil because if you let this sit on here it's just going to absolutely stick to your stencil and it's just not going to be any good. Um, so I'm going to go and wash this now. Okay so here is our uh, dried flower now. So I wanted this to be a little bit whiter so again I'm just going to carry on sort of experimenting. I'm going to take my clear Simon Says Stamp Emboss Ink um, and I'm not going to press sort of too... Uh, hard because I don't want it to go anywhere other than kind of these petals but I'm just going to try and add some of this uh, embossing ink um, just over the top and I'm trying to avoid that sort of middle section um, as well so I'm going to take some of this Sweet Dixie Glacier White Embossing Powder kind of pour that on top and it seems 
so far to just be going kind of on those petals, which is good. Okay, so I'm actually quite happy with that. So all I'm going to do is just uh, brush off any areas uh, sort of on the background itself where I don't want it to go. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and heat set this. So adding that embossing powder has made it quite thick, so I think I put it on there quite uh, thick anyway, the texture paste, and then, so just putting that embossing powder over the over the uh, top of that, this was more kind of what I wanted with the have that bright white, um, but I actually really love sort of how this does look. Um, yeah, it's just sort of much more rustic, it's much more brighter kind of off the page. Okay, so let's bring back our stamp now. Um, so originally I was just going to stamp this all kind of on top of each other, um, but that's definitely not going uh, to stamp uh, on there with all of this texture now. So let's just grab a scrap piece of cardstock along with my mini misty. So let's just pop that guy in there. Um, so I did uh, recently uh, pick up a bigger version of the Versafine Onyx Black. Um, as you know before, I just had this uh, mini cube here, but sometimes with bigger stamps, it was just too much to try and um, stamp it with a little one. So I did go ahead and just get a big one. I'm gonna pick this up from Amazon. So let's just ink up this stamp. Very, very juicy pad. Let's stamp this. So let's take that out. And because this is a waterproof ink, I'm gonna grab my champ, uh, my stamp chamois from Lawn and I'm just gonna clean this off straight away. Okay, so there is our uh, pieces. So I'm just gonna cut by hand, because it doesn't have to be kind of too uh, perfect. I'm gonna cut out our sentiments first of all. Okay, so I've just cut out my sentiments and then this bird as well. So I'm just gonna bring back this piece of paper because I think I might just do a little bit of ink blending on here, um, just so it isn't kind of so white. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our broken china I'm just gonna come in with that kind of on our background. So sort of where our uh, like extra little um, sort of splotches are and things like that. So it's just kind of come in there. I think I might come back in with um, some wild honey. And maybe just kind of come in on those wings. Okay, let's get some double-sided tape on this just to make sure that we've got this stuck down really, really well. Okay, so let's attach this to our card. Let's prop our bird up on some uh, foam tape. Okay, so let's add our sentiment. So I just added some foam squares onto the back of here. So we can just pop this up there. So we're gonna have life is So we've got life is beautiful. Let's just trim off the wing that's just overhanging. And I think then just to finish this off, I'm gonna add some black ebony uh, Nevo drops on here.
So there's our finished card. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Is this a hot mess? Uh, do you quite like it? Like I said before, mixed media really isn't um, what I like to do, to be honest. So sometimes I do struggle with um, more of these kind of mixed media style stamps. The stencils, I think, aren't too bad because you can... Um, find lots of other ways of kind of using them but sometimes I do find some of the stamp sets um a little bit more challenging but I do kind of want to challenge myself to be able to use them um but I don't know how I feel about this one um I think it's nice I do like how the daisy came out obviously a lot of the backgrounds you can't really kind of see now um and I'm not too sure about the hummingbird there either to be honest um but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you think this is um, good? Do you think it's just total rubbish? Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.